Welcome to another episode of The Silly Kitchen. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. I post recipe videos and fun things every single week. So today, I welcome you to an episode featuring fresh figs. I want to share with you this really easy recipe, just a couple ingredients. Figs pair well with so many things and one of them being cheese. So let's get started. Start with your favorite naan or flatbread. We are going to use brie cheese in this recipe, so I like to cut it in the middle and then have really nice thin slices all the way along the inside of the brie. And then if you have leftover, you just put both halves back together and put them in the fridge. Now, we are going to dress the flatbread. I'm gonna pull apart these thin slices of brie and cover most of the naan bread. It's okay to leave a little bit of space uh, because some of this is gonna melt and they're all gonna meet in the middle anyway. I'm gonna use the same method for slicing my figs. Cut them in half first, make sure you have a sharp knife, and then thin slices from the inside out. So you've got your larger pieces and nice kind of rounds to put onto your flatbread. You want enough, again, to cover the entire flatbread so that you have a bite of brie and fig in every bite. <laughs> oh. These things are delicious, I'm telling you. Cheese and fig, who knew? Okay, we gotta get this in the oven. 400 degrees on a baking sheet for about six or seven minutes. Once it is all ready to go, you're gonna see all that brie melted. Now we're not done yet. We need to plop some honey onto this. Oh, my honey crystallized a little bit, so it wasn't a very elegant kind of pour, but it's okay. My honey's gonna melt on that warm cheese that just came out of the oven. To garnish, I am using fresh mint. There's probably different herbs you can use for this recipe, but I love the way this fresh mint not only looks and garnishes the flatbread, but the taste really works. I'm gonna use my pizza cutter and do little triangles. You can cut it into squares or bite-sized pieces, whatever way works for you. You can use a knife if you don't have a pizza cutter. But that's it, it is ready to eat. I hope you enjoyed another quick little easy and delicious recipe from the Silly Kitchen. I hope to see you guys again soon and enjoy your figs and cheese.